Hi, it's female and welcome to my channel. So I have a Dollar Tree haul, um, just a small little haul because uh, I just went in there and picked up a couple of things um, from Dollar Tree. So I will get right to it. All right. So my mom needed a saran wrap. So I'm hoping this is the same thing, cling wrap. Uh, so I got two of those for her. What she needs it for, I don't know. All right. And this was new pork egg rolls, and you get four of them. Okay. Su Ming. Um, so it says take in, don't take out. All right. So I just got one because I want to give it a try. Put them in the air fryer and uh, see how they taste. So pork egg rolls. All right. And I got this. Okay. Now these are mess, mesh laundry bags. Okay. Now you get three of them. Okay. I didn't know it was three of them. I thought it was one. And I thought... It would be this size, like, you know, big. Um, and you could get a couple of things in there. But they are small. But I am going to do another haul um, and show you guys uh, what I use these for. But these are really convenient. Um, so I'll show you in another uh, haul. All right. So I got some more of the kicking chicken Alfredo. You guys know I use this with the um, the frozen shrimp and put it together and you got a good meal. All right, so that's all in that bag. And then in this bag, y'all, they are already putting fall stuff out, y'all. Fall is already out. So they had these, and this is eucalyptus leaves. So I got these. I got four of this kind with a little hit hint of uh, orange on there. Four of that kind. And then four, no, three, because they only had this one. Three with the beige in there. Okay. So these were, and this is eucalyptus as well. So fall uh, plants are out at Dollar Tree. So get them now because they will go fast, okay? We're not even over summer, okay? Summer, this is just the beginning of summer, but fall has come to Dollar Tree already, y'all. All right, so um, I got this headband, okay? These are really cute. So, see how they they work. See that? For when I'm having that kind of hair day like I'm having today. And I got another one of these to keep in my stash because... Um, I finally used it. It takes me a long time to use deodorant up. So um, I was finally out of my one that I had. And um, then I couldn't find any more. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm out of deodorant. But I had one in my stash. So I had to get that from out of my stash. So I'm replacing this. So... I always like to keep one. See, that's cute. And it hides the fact that, see right here, I don't have no edges, y'all. On this side, I got some. But on this side, those braids has a slick down with the gel stuff. And so um, with, the, with the braids, I would uh, slick it. And the braids was old, so I would slick it. So, you know... 
and then put the headband on so you couldn't tell that I really needed to take the braids out because I was lazy. But right here, it would itch, you know, in the evening. And so I would just scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, and rub the gel out. And so I done rubbed all my doggone hair out, y'all. I done dug all my hair out right there. So this kind of camouflages it. But anyway, <laughs> okay, uh, they had these, and they had, uh, and so this is a headband as well. Let me see how this one looks. So I'll take this one off. This is cute, too. And this is like a blue color. I really like a slate blue. I'm really falling in love with uh, light blue and pink this year. Ooh, this might fit tight. Ooh. Yeah, it feels it's a lot tight. But it's on there. So anyway, you can put that little doohickey in the middle or you can put it to the side. You know, whatever. But it's cute. You know, when you have a ponytail day and I could uh, make it a bun but I just didn't want to I'm lazy I'm on vacation I don't really care how I look because I'm just running to the stove you know but I know I'm not gonna have no dog on bonnet on okay what did y'all think about what Monique said uh, about women in them bonnets because I've been saying it for years okay because in my house, we don't leave the house looking any kind of way. Now, this, how I'm looking right now, okay, which is not that cute, but it's decent. So if I go to the store or something, I'm not going to be embarrassed and embarrass my family name. <laughs> okay. I got on some cap Capri uh, leggings, a T-shirt, and my hair is pulled up. Although I'm having a bad hair day, my hair is pulled up in a ponytail, okay? But these women going out with their bonnets and their house shoes, no, no, that is not, that's not, that's not how you're supposed to look, you know? And some women look like they just rolled out of bed. When you see them at the grocery store, you see them at the 99 cent store, and you could tell, you know, they haven't washed their face. You know, they haven't brushed their teeth. They haven't combed their hair. They just rolled out of bed with their pajamas on and coming on to the store. I mean, who does that? You know, I'll have my pajamas on and go somewhere, but I'm going to the drive through Okay, I'm not getting out the car. I'm only getting out the car to come inside the house. But who does that? That is just totally disgusting. And I wasn't mad at Monique because I've been saying it for years that women need to do better. But anyway, um, I got six of these uh, solar stake lights for the backyard. I may put a couple in the front yard too. Uh, but I got six of those. And they had this new uh, burlap trim. So I got three of those, okay, three packs of those. And then they had this one, this headband as well. Okay, and that one is like a little mauve color, like a light blush pink color. So, these are really cute. All right. And then they finally, finally got the Barbie doll lawn furniture. Okay. You get the this two uh, lawn chairs put together. And then they had the this chair. Okay. And then they had the barbecue grill, okay? And that closes, 
although it doesn't stay closed, but I can put a piece of Velcro or something on there. So that's really cute. So I got those to go in my grandbaby hope chest. Now, let me tell y'all, I had told y'all, well, let me get down to this and then I'll tell you. So I got two bags of the frozen strawberries. And then I got two more of these uh, towels because I think I'm going to use it to make pillows for the living room when I um, uh, put out the blue dishes in the living room. And y'all, those blue dishes is gone. They have, they had four of the little small saucer plates, uh, dessert plates, and they had like maybe six or eight of the cups. And that is all that they had. All those plates are gone. So I'm so glad I got those plates uh, when I did. So anyway, I got two more of these and I will be using those to make pillars when I use those plates. But, oh, and then I got um, four of these plastic bins for shoes because I just uh, did an order um, and I will do that video um, probably next week on all the stuff I got, uh, like my summer clothes and stuff, vacation wear. Um, I will do a haul on that next week, I do believe. I think I'll wait until my hair is looking better because I haven't made up my mind if I am going to actually do a try on or just show the clothes. I haven't made up my mind what I'm gonna do. Tell me what you think I should do. Should I do a try on or should I just show the, the clothes on a hanger and call it a day? But anyway, I got shoes, I got clothes, and um, yeah, so uh, y'all know, well, everybody that knows me knows that I love clothes. I've been in love with clothes ever since I was a kid, um, and I've always had an eye for fashion. It don't look like it right now because I'm on vacation and I'm just going, staying in the house. So I don't care how I look, but, <laughs> but um, I've always been able to look in magazines um, and see what the trend trends are and then find it in other places, find it really cheap. So um, that is what I have done. So I will do that haul next week. Um, like I said, and I'm going because Monday I'm gonna get my hair braided, so I'll wait till my hair is looking uh, I'm looking better <laughs> than what I'm looking now in case I want to try a couple of things on, so you guys can see. But anyway, um, that is all that I have for this this haul. Very short and sweet. Um, Oh, I was going to tell you about the um, this here stuff, the Grandbaby Hope Chest. So my daughter, I told you guys that my daughter um, has been having some uh, mental illness issues. And so uh, now that she's getting better and everything, she is uh, having group therapy and um, everything like that. So um, I guess she happened to mention in group about my grandbaby hope chest and that um, she is feeling, I don't, I, I'm not putting any pressure on her um, to have a baby. Uh, I would like for her to have a baby, but you know, she's she and her husband told me that they weren't ready, you know, like when they had, after they had first got married and everything, they've been married for years. But um, so I accepted it but I still see all this cute stuff. So 
I'm just saving it, you know. So, and like I told her, you are not the only child that I have. You know, I have more than one child that I could save stuff for. And so she's telling me that her therapist said uh, to tell me to I need to give all my stuff away because it's putting pressure on her. And I said, you need to tell your therapist that she need to mind her business because that hope chest, that is my way of um, coping with the fact that I don't have any grandkids right now. But it is my way of dealing with the fact that, you know, one day in the future, I don't know when it will be. It could be 10, 20 years from now, you know, but I will have something to pass on. I could be dead and gone, but that box will still be here for them, uh, you know, for, for my grandkids or whoever, you know, I don't know, but. Who is she to tell me to throw my stuff away? Am I wrong? No. You know, and I told her, I said, there's no pressure on you. You know, if you don't want to have a baby, don't have one. You know, if you do, fine. If you don't, fine. I'm going to love you regardless. And I don't see how that's pressure. You know, me having the hope chest because, like I said, I have more than one child. And so she says, well. Jordan is not even in a relationship. And I say he ain't in a relationship right now. <laughs> but who's to say what's going to happen five, ten years from now? You don't know. So anyway, I'm keeping my stuff. I don't care what she said. I'm not giving my stuff away. No. I look like giving my stuff away. What? No. So anyway, I was waiting for this. Oh, and they have this in a... Uh, turquoise blue as well okay but all of these are in this color but yeah so am i wrong i don't think i'm wrong you know everybody think i'm crazy anyway uh with my grandbaby hope chest but i don't really care y'all because like i said it's how i'm getting through okay is keeping me sane, okay, and keeping me where I'm not so jealous when I see people with all their grandkids and stuff. <sighs> my girlfriend, my um, bestie, I think she told me her daughter, one of her daughters is pregnant again with her second child. So this is going to make grandbaby number 11, I think she said. I was like, oh my God, grandbaby 11, really? I'm trying to get grandbaby one, <laughs> you know, but I'm not putting no pressure on either one of my children. They know that I want grandkids, but you know, when they have them, they'll have them, you know? So my daughter was like, well, what if I adopt it? I don't care. They would still be my grandbabies. I don't care if you adopt. I don't care, you know. But anyway, um, I just thought the nerve of her to tell me to get rid of my uh, my stuff. No, all that stuff. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna get rid of my stuff. I don't care what that lady say. She ain't my therapist. <laughs> this is my own therapy for myself. Shoot. Don't tell me how to spend my money. Mm -mm. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that is all that I have for this haul, y'all. They... Um, I went to the uh, Dollar Tree on um, Alessandro and Paris Boulevard. And so they were putting out, they had boxes and stuff, and they were putting out new stuff. I think they're getting ready to put up all the fall stuff, and then they were putting up back-to-school stuff. Um, so that is getting ready to jump off. And this 
doggone thing is tight on my head, y'all. My little pea brain is like going, what, what is going on? But these are cute. Like I said, they had this in, um, they had like a corduroy uh, green color, like a sage green, I think. And then they had a black. But it looked really thick and hot to me, so I didn't get it because I felt like it was going to make me hot flash. <laughs> so I left it there because I was like, I don't really like that. But it was just like this, but it was corduroy and it was thick. So I didn't like it, so I left it there. But anyway, um, they putting up new stuff. So if you're in Moreno Valley... Go check them out because uh, probably tomorrow they'll have all new stuff in there. But I don't really need nothing. I just went in there mainly for that saran wrap. I went in there for some doggone bug spray, some ant spray because I got ants that's coming. Because I guess ants want to be cool too. But um, in my bathroom. And so I'm spraying them with the doggone toilet cleanser stuff. Because that's all I got. Because I normally don't have bugs in my house. Um, so, yeah. But, of course, I went off and forgot it. So, the main thing that I went to bu go buy, I forgot at the doggone store. So, I still need bug spray, ant spray. But, anyway, um, thank you guys so much so very much for watching uh and for those of you uh that have been uh, praying for my daughter she's getting better um thank you guys for all the calls and the texts and um uh, prayers for her she's getting better she's slowly but surely coming back to herself and um and <laughs> she is back on meat, y'all. Oh, when I tell you my girl is eating meat, she eating meat. <laughs> and she like wants to eat everything now. She's like going meat crazy. So she is back eating meat. And um, I'm so glad because it was always a challenge trying to figure out what, you know, when we have family din dinners and stuff, trying to figure out what the heck we gonna make for her. So that was always my mom's job <laughs> because I'm like, I don't, okay, she can have sides of the vegetables or whatever that we make. I'm not gonna be trying to make no special type of stuff. So <laughs> she's finally back to eating meat. So every time I cook something, they got some meat in it. I call her and tell her, and she be like, ooh, I'm going to come get some. <laughs> She's funny. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If by chance you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button. Also, do what? Do what? Do what? Ring that bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring that bell, y'all. You know what to do. Ring the bell. You ring the bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload new videos. All right? So thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.